My name is Alex Bishop uh, and I'm a guitar maker. I specialise in uh, gypsy jazz uh, or Selma McAfee style uh, acoustic guitars. And the two, these two guitars that have got me today are, uh, I've got a 14 fret D hole, um, uh, which is unlike the original traditional Selma guitars, is uh, 14 frets to the body, so it's uh, more suited for lead playing than the, the D holes are, uh, typically are. The oval hole I've got here is, is a 14 fret, very much built to this, the same kind of spec as the original Selma McAfee guitars. I've added a few contemporary design features, so on the sides of the guitars I'm, uh, I'm implementing these side sound ports which act as a, a personal monitor for the guitarist so that you get a bit of the sound yourself so you can get a better of idea of what you're playing and uh, hear a bit more of the guitar. Uh, and I found it doesn't take away from the actual projection of the instrument. Uh, these, these instruments are both made of the same materials, they're European spruce tops um, and the back and sides are uh, black American walnut which is actually grown in Kew Gardens in, in London and I believe, I've, I've been told, I don't know if it's entirely true, but the, uh, the tree was planted by Queen Victoria um, so they've got royal heritage. Um, <laughs> And because I French polish my instruments, um, it's, uh, the finishing process is, is quite long, so it, it varies between the instru from instrument to instrument. The working time uh, is about 130, 140 hours um, worth of work on each instrument, so I'm typically working on two or three guitars at a time, but generally at different stages. Every guitar is different. Uh, you never truly know what you're going to uh, exactly get. I mean, as a maker, it's my sort of responsibility when it comes to making a guitar for somebody that they get, you know, work towards what kind of sound they want. Um, so there's things like the choice of materials. Uh, you can no you normally know what kind of sound you're going to get. The guitar, unlike the violin, is very much a, an instrument that's still evolving. Uh, well, um, whereas violins have very much stayed the same now for, for quite some time. With guitars, we've had truss rods and uh, uh, all kinds of new features, things like the sound port. So I think the guitar has still got a bit, bit of an evolutionary process to go through before it um, really finds its place. <laughs> I am working on a ukulele model um, because I have had a f quite a few people interested in doing a gypsy jazz style ukulele and I think the kind of music that's played on a ukulele kind of fits quite nicely into that kind of early swing music so um, that's something I I'm quite keen to do uh, and I'm also uh, in the process of designing an OM uh, style folk guitar as well um, uh, but that's in an early stage and I've been keen for a long time to do a gypsy jazz guitar which is a, a, a very modern interpretation of a gypsy jazz guitar, something with fanned frets. Um, I think that's something that's quite interesting, so having a multiple scale length, so your low, your low string is, is longer and your uh, high string is shorter, um, so you can get a lot more bass but retain the, the treble at the top end, so it gives you a quite, a, you know, it gives you quite a broad um, harmonic Range. I think that will work particularly well on the on uh, a folk guitar. Um, open tunings like Dadgad, I think, work very well with that kind of idea because you, you get a nice rich bottom end, uh, but you still get a nice sparkle from the, the shorter scale length from the top string. So um, I think that's where I'll start with that idea. <laughs>